everyone. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to Vlogentine's Day 3. I'm getting a late start today. It is 12.44 and it's time for lunch. But I'm also thinking I've got to eat those boiled eggs that are still in the fridge. <laughs> Every time I open the fridge, ew, that smell just hits me like a brick wall. So I'm gonna have two hard boiled eggs. And the way I like to do it is I peel them and then I smash them up really, really good and then put some butter on it and salt and pepper, throw it in the microwave. Mm, it is so good. That's how my mom used to eat them when I was little and just growing up. And so I love to eat them that way too. So let's get started, shall we? These are so smelly. Woo! They always have that butt skin. I just, ew. I always make sure to pull that off. And I'm also gonna rinse these off in the sink. Sometimes I crack my, or I peel my eggs under running water, which really helps, but sometimes I just forget and I do it the hard way. No butt skin on that one. All right, there are my eggs. And I kind of just break them up like this. Woo! And then use a potato masher to really get in there. I'm getting hungrier by the second just from the smell of these eggs. It's like, how can something that smells so bad taste so good? Just gonna plop some butter in. And I'm gonna put this in the microwave and get it nice and warmish, hottish, and put salt and pepper on them. Okay, so I just put them in for 10 seconds. The butter is nice and soft, and then you just mix it in. A little bit of pepper, a little bit of salt, And here's lunch, everybody. Mm. We made it, everybody. We're out of the house. I think we're going to go to the Target today. I haven't been to Target in a month, which is highly unusual. It's just not like me. So... It's Friday, and you know how I like to just shop around on Fridays. It's just a fun thing to do. It's the end of the week. So, hopefully they'll have some fun stuff. I don't know. Lately, well, I can't say because I haven't been for a month, but every time I go, like the Target dollar spot is empty. Almost completely empty every time. And... Their clothes are the same things that they had last summer. I mean, they had they added their sweaters and stuff, but it's like they're still selling stuff that I saw last summer, and it's not on clearance. Like the long, they've got some long sleeved stuff that they never put on clearance, and they just have it all year round. It seems, and but anyway. 
Let's see what they have. So I'm looking around and there's not one thing on sale. Nothing. And nothing is cute. And it's all picked over. I don't know. It's lame. <laughs> Okay, thirty dollars, no way. Okay, there's the clearance section, but everybody and their dog is searching the clearance, so there's not even any room for me to walk around. <laughs> Everything's crop. It's all like super short. That's just ugh. That's cute, but I don't want to pay twenty-five dollars. These are what they have all the time, and they're never on sale. Okay, check it out. Plastic shoes, and they're as hard as a rock. These totally take me back to junior high. Huh. These are cute. Hilarious. Instead of the diamond ring pops, they've got poo pops. <laughs> We're home, everyone. Target was lame, seriously. So they did have one of these. This looked really cool, and it's really heavy. It's a two-drawer um, thingy. They call it an organizer. <laughs> and then this uh, is just um, open on the top. So I thought, and they're really kind of deep, I thought this would look good right there in place of that. So, I don't know. I think we'll try and organize this now. And here I just have this is a soap dish from Dollar Tree and I just keep my jewelry in it. Just the stuff that I wear the most. And then um, this is also from Dollar Tree. Just hair clips and stuff. And then this silly thing I made out of a, out of a box, um, a true lemon box. And it's just, I cut it down and put tape around it and it just holds my lip there's lip gloss and facial products and some crest white strips and a pore strip that i opened and didn't use yet so and then this i keep it's just a little lid and then i keep the smaller stuff in it like um some dental floss, an eye thing. This came with some cream a long time ago. Just little bobby pins, just the little stuff that gets lost. It's always nice to have a lid to put it in. So anyway, I'm just gonna see what I can do here. I don't know. I took the plastic off and these are smooth. These feel nice. This is really heavy and sturdy. I really like it a lot. It's worth $5. This was $5. All right, I don't know if this is gonna 
film very well. I don't know if you'll be able to see much, but that's gonna go there. And then this is my little drawer of hair stuff, which I barely use. These are nice and heavy duty. I got them off of Amazon. They're really nice. I never wear them. <laughs> There's just elastics and clips in here. And bobby pins. All sorts of things. Oh my gosh, here's a little rubber elastic. It's completely hard. Watch this. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Okay, so there's that. Um, this, I would really like to have, keep my jewelry in here and check it out, it totally fits. This is just one of these pumpkins that I got from Dollar Tree and I use it for a pin cushion. It works perfectly. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, now we've got this stuff. Um, this is just some different dark spot gel. It's all right. This is just eye cream, some retinol, lip gloss. This is by City Beauty. They gave me this as a sample. I like it. It's almost all gone. Let's see, I'll still keep that. You can see what I'm doing because I can't. I'm just putting an elastic around this. Oh my gosh, this is so old, it's about to snap. Let's see if this little Dollar Tree one will work out. This is falling apart anyway. It's nasty. Cool. So, I think that looks a lot better. Oh yeah, I forgot. I can put this in here. This is also from City Beauty. They sent me this last year or a year and a half ago. It's Invisicrepe body balm and I like to put it under my neck because or like right under my chin in that area because it's starting to get crepey so that can go in there and this is just my eye cream I was just normally setting it just on the on like on my sink so so yeah that is perfect. I need to clean all this off, but yeah, I like that. That was a good find, five bucks. And it's nice and smooth and sturdy and perfect.
I want to show you a fun little cute little thing I learned on Instagram. I have no clue um, whose Instagram it was. You know, it's just those little clips that they show. But you take a little doily, and they also have the great big doilies, but I just have these little ones. And you make a little envelope. So how you do it is you just take this side, oops, I just ripped it, and then fold it over like that. And then you take the other side and fold it over like that. So there you have your heart like that. And then you fold up the bottom like this. I also saw on TV yesterday on one of our morning talk shows, they had little Valentine's Day crafts. Oh, this one's a little crooked. Just a little. That's okay. And then let me do it this way. Fold it like that. And look, you've got a little envelope. How fun! Isn't that so cute? And then you can um, tape this part down and you can put a little Valentine inside or whatever. But look at how cute. So these are from Dollar Tree. These are, I got them a while ago. I don't think they have them anymore. At least my Dollar Trees don't. But look how cute. You can just slide it in like that. How cute is that? I just love this. Anyway, I just wanted to show you what I learned, this cute little envelope. I just think it's adorable. So, so much for that. For dinner tonight, I'm having my special K. This is the fruit and yogurt. It's really good. It's got crunchy wheat and rice flakes with oat and fruit clusters and yogurt coated clusters. They're really good. I really like this. I never used to like Special K, but I think they changed the formula a little bit. It tastes way better than it used to years ago. And then I'm using my unsweetened vanilla almond milk. Yup.